So let's take a look at some chat GPT-4 prompts for social media. Let's get right on into it. First and foremost, here's going to be one that I really like. In case you're posting in Facebook groups, or it doesn't have to be Facebook if there's any other type of places or forums or like Discord or places like that, we want to provide some value to the group, let people know that you know what you're talking about. Uh, this is going to be what it's used for. So give me ideas for value posts that I can make in a Facebook group called X. So given the fact this is a prompt, you can obviously change X with whatever your niche, your hobby, your uh, whatever it is you're going to be talking about, of course. So for this, I'm just going to use affiliate marketing and chat GPT-4 does take a little bit longer to get going. So I'm going to pause this and I will see you a couple seconds in the future. All right, so here we are. We have 10 ideas here. Good amount of content, if you ask me. So I'm just going to go through the beginning aspects of it. You can obviously, you know, read the rest of it. It actually talks about what you can do, which is cool. So it says the top 10 affiliate programs for beginners start earning today. And then it says what you can do, share a list of beginner friendly affiliate programs and so on and so forth. Uh, success stories, essential tools versus drop shipping, choosing the perfect niche, maximizing your earnings with email marketing, on social media tips and best practices, the art of crafting high converting affiliate product reviews. There's a tongue twister. <laughs> Leveraging SEO for long-term affiliate marketing success and affiliate marketing mistakes to avoid. So those are going to be some ideas. Let's go to new chat. Let's make sure we on four. Here's going to be the next prompt that I'm going to paste in. So a lot of these are very flexible. I put write a tweet about X. Make sure that it has less than 280 total characters. I think that's the max for a tweet. So I just put that in as a little bit extra. Now, the cool thing is this is going to be your topic, of course, but you can make it a little bit juicier if you want. You can really add more to it, which is why I wanted to talk about this. So controversial tweet about affiliate marketing. So you can do write a funny tweet about affiliate marketing. You can do write a seriously toned tweet about affiliate marketing. And of course, you can be a little bit more specific about you know what that topic is going to be. But I'd like giving it a broad overall kind of view of affiliate marketing. So chat GPT-4 can go in and just choose what it wants to use. And I'm here for that because I just want to see what it brings up. But if you wanted more specificity, of course, add that in the beginning. And that's how you can really um, change things around. Wow, talk about a good one <laughs> in terms of controversial. Affiliate marketing, the digital Ponzi scheme, earn while you deceive. Are we truly empowering entrepreneurs or just breeding an army of opportunists? That is certainly uh, controversial. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what we're getting. Let's just do right another one. Let's see what we can get. The parasite of e-commerce, leeching profits, inflating prices, and duping customers. Time to rethink our values. I can't say I agree with a lot of these, but this is uh, what it comes up with in terms of controversy. So if you want to do something like that, you can. If you want to do something that's funny, that's serious, uh, something, whatever it's going to be. And you can obviously take out the tweet aspect of it. So write a controversial you know, Instagram post, Facebook post, LinkedIn post, whatever it's going to be, a TikTok caption. All right. So let's go back over here. Let's go to our next one. I did say caption, right? So write a caption for a social media post about, and let's do something. Write a caption for a social media post about visiting New Zealand on vacation to take some time off the business, off of the business. So like I said, that's what you can fill in right here, but we have a caption. This could be for TikTok, even though, you know, got videos going on there. You still need something under it unless you just want to keep it blank. So here we have it. I'll read through this because it's probably going to be not super long and I'm already talking. So it's uh going through. So escaping the hustle and bustle to recharge in New Zealand's breathtaking landscapes, this magical getaway is just what the soul needed. So let's say we want to do a little bit longer. Let's do this. Write a paragraph. There we go. I did do caption, right? So if we want to extend that, let's just do paragraph this time. Because this is pretty much going to be similar to something you would see for a short caption. It could be like a tweet, maybe if you remove these. I'm not sure how many characters that is just by eyeballing it. But here's the other one. Taking a much needed break from the daily grind and immersing myself in the awe-inspiring beauty of New Zealand. From stunning coastlines to lush rainforest and majestic mountains, this enchanting land is a true balm for the weary soul. Excited to explore with rich Maori culture. I think that's Maori, Maori. Indulge in local delicacies and create unforgettable memories. Work and wait. It's time to embrace the magical serenity of this Kiwi paradise. So, of course, if you wanted to be more specific, you can do that because maybe you didn't do a few of these things. Maybe you didn't in indulge in local delicacies or maybe you climb the mountain you could obviously be more specific with that so when you have the prompt it's very flexible be sure to add a few things to it or take away if that's what you're really looking for let's do another one 
All right, so here's the prompt. Write a Facebook post talking about how you just created a new video slash article called X and give a call to action where they can watch slash read it. So let's just say we did an article. Like I said, it's a prompt, it's a template, it's flexible. And we're gonna read the article, we're not gonna watch it. And let's give it a name. All right, so write a Facebook post talking about how you just created a new article called the two best tips for growing your YouTube channel and give a call to action where you can read it. So this is the type of social media value post where you've created something of value. It could be a free book, an ebook, a guide, a cheat sheet, a training, a course is now free or an article or a video, whatever it is, you just want to let people know that you created it and we can go and see it. So that's what we're looking to accomplish here. Probably should have hit the enter and then explain that just because I know this takes a little bit slower. So you can do this not just on Facebook. And keep in mind, I think I brought that up before, just because something says Facebook or Twitter or whatever, so on and so forth, you can obviously change that out for your social media platform of preference. Like this probably wouldn't be on YouTube. Maybe if you're in like the member section posting updates, you probably can be flexible there. But let's read through this as it is going. Just published, we have our title. Hey there, the amazing Facebook fam. <laughs> Obviously change that around if you're not on Facebook. I am beyond excited to share my latest article with you all called so-and-so. I've been doing some in-depth research, chatting with successful YouTubers and applying my own experiences to bring you these valuable and actionable tips that can truly help elevate your YouTube game. Whether you're just getting started, looking to give your channel a boost, uh, why wait any longer? Here's the link. Don't forget to share your thoughts. And if you find it article, you know, <laughs> if you find it article, if you find this article helpful make sure to share it with your fellow youtubers happy growing and we have some hashtags pretty good exactly what we're looking for and let's do our last one all right so this is going to be the promo one let's say write a facebook post for a discount that you have for your course called x maybe you don't have a discount maybe it's just launched maybe it's just live or maybe there's an early bird really up to you so you don't always have to have a discount that's just the angle i'm going with this one talk about the benefits of the course and let everyone know that the link is in the description because sometimes people do that on facebook apparently to get more clicks, because usually when you have a link in there, it gets less attention overall. I don't know how much that's changed overall. I'm not huge on Facebook like I used to be, but that's the reason why people do that. Let's just call this tube channel marketing. Sure, something like that, just a random name I came up with off the top of my head. So talking about this, this is more of a promotion, a promo. If that's what you're looking for, that's what you're gonna get here. Obviously, change it around once again. It doesn't have to be on Facebook. It doesn't have to be a discount. It could be anything. It could be a new opportunity. It could be Black Friday. And we're talking about the benefits. And of course, we want to let everyone know that the link is in the description. Make sure that you do that on somewhere where it's appropriate, where you can actually have a link in the description, of course. So we're excited to announce a limited time offer on our highly popular course. We have our title or course there. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to supercharge your YouTube journey. In this course, you will discover proven strategies for growth, powerful SEO tactics, engaging content creation techniques, the art of audience retention, revenue maximization, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Our expert instructions will guide you every step of the way to unlock your full potential on YouTube. Are you ready to make a real impact to join thousands of successful students who have transformed their channels into thriving businesses? For a limited time, use the link in the description to access this game changing course at an unbeatable discount link is going to be in description so that's good because it actually doesn't have the link there but it says it's in the description and of course someone can click on the comments and find it what are you waiting for dive in today and we have some hashtags so Overall, that's going to wrap it up with some chat GPT for prompts for social media. Hope you got some value out of these. Uh, there's only five of them, I believe, off the top of my head, but all of these are very flexible. Like I talked about, you can change it for an article. You can change it for a video, whether it's a promo, whether it's value. If you're looking for ideas about value posts, there's a lot to work with here, even though there's only a few amount of prompts. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.